Hey, today we're gonna build a hoop house and we're using our Craig tool to join the frame at the bottom. Using wood screws, we'll attach the frame together for extra strength. Next, we bent these cattle panels over and put them into the frame. As you see, we're adding two by fours to the frame as supports and to make a door and a back. We're gonna add a Craig tool header and a center support to the frame. Now. Our doors are going to be 24 inches, so we added the headers and a support to that frame. Next step is to add supports to the frame, so we're screwing more supports in at an angle. And we did this process to the front and the back so that it looks like we've got doorways on both sides, but they're not. They're just supported the same so that we can attach chicken wire to that thing. Now that the frame is complete, we'll move on to the next step. First, we're going to cover the hoop with the chicken wire, both sides, and then we'll do the front and the back. Next is to cut and to Craig tool and to build our 24 inch door and add the frame and hinges. Okay, so that looks like it's all together. And we're gonna take it out and hang it. And then we will have to go get chicken wire and then we'll attack it. But we're running out of chicken wire. So. Okay, we're attaching our hinge. Uh, bottom and top. And then see how it closes. And it closes just fine. So there we go. Bottom. Now our hoop coop is six foot tall, but we couldn't find six foot tall chicken wire, so we had to go with three foot and just put a band at the bottom and a band at the top and splice them together. Now the hoop coop is not square, so after that bottom run, we started just bending uh, the chicken wire over and attaching with some rings to the hoop. For now, to get it onto the frame, we started stapling. Eventually, we'll come back with some plumber strapping and screws and attach it uh, better so it can't be pulled off by the critters. Okay, I'm folding the excess wire over and kind of buckling it. Yeah. Then I'm going to take one of these hog clips, put them in the hog clip pliers, <laughs> and I'm going to fasten them to the pole. And that's how easy it is. Cool. Okay, so we're doing that all the way around to make sure this is laid down and all that so that we can come back and put our tarp over the top of this just around this part here and back down on the other side but the ends won't have a tarp on it so that the breeze goes through the cool okay, breeze you can see we have chicken wire on the entire hoop hoop now now we've got it stapled all up and down inside the door and outside the door all along that door frame and then we also have uh, our little hog clip see if I can find one I don't see that right here here's one right here that holds the chicken wire to this pole and the chicken wire to the chicken wire so it can't be compromised we also have these little hooks there we go 
and that's what we call them j-hooks i don't really know the name but each one of them's got their own little separate deal next step we're going to cut the fence all around here so that the door opens and closes right now it can't because of the chicken wire holding it so once we do that then we'll add a lock here and a lock down here we're probably going to put a little plywood on the front and the back give the ducks uh, or, you know a little more privacy so that's okay the we got the screw uh chicken wire cut away so the screen door opens so we're about to put the tarp on as soon as we get more of our deals attached the chicken wire to the cattle gate and all that then we'll stretch this the tarp over it and hopefully it will be good hey we're attaching the tarp using the eyelets <clears throat> uh, doing the first corner using zip ties or plastic zip ties Okay, we're attaching the tarp on the sides with those little pieces of uh, plumber's strap. strap and putting the screws into the frame and we do it every so once in a while. Michelle's doing one right now. So that finishes uh, the tarp, at least on the sides, and we'll have to go through if you notice, you'll see that chicken wire sticking out, and that's to keep the quitters from digging under. These little things that I was talking about that were clamping on, uh, attaching the tarp to the hoop and the... Look like old staples. Yeah. They're going a special little tool. It's a... And we'll just clamp them on to the post. Next, we added three nylon straps to hold that tarp on in high wind. 